Hey guys, Trevor here, and in this video, I'm gonna show you how to speed up your iPhone if it's running very slowly. It's pretty quick and easy, so let's jump right in. Now, I'm on my iPhone if it's kind of slow to load up different pages or apps or to do anything. There are a bunch of different ways that we can help to speed up your iPhone. The very first thing, and always the easiest thing, is just to reboot your iPhone. So tap the power and the volume up and hold those and slide to power off. So this is kind of the, the very first easiest thing to do because a lot of times over time, your iPhone will have all these background processes kind of running on that iPhone itself. Rebooting it kind of restarts and resets everything. It's a great way to kind of refresh your iPhone. Now we'll go into a bunch more different things that you can do as well. The first thing is you wanna swipe up and you want to close out of all these different apps that you might have um, open right now. So close out of all the apps. If you have like 20, 30 apps open, that could be bogging down your iPhone and really slowing it down. Another thing you can do is swipe to the right here and you can see all these widgets. If you have like 20 different widgets here, those widgets are running perpetually on your iPhone in the background. So we'll hit edit here and make sure we can just, you know, minus out these. Any ones that you don't use regularly, I would just remove them so that you don't have a bunch of these widgets running in the background. That'll help again, speed up your iPhone. Now, the next thing we'll do is to head into settings here and then we'll want to tap on general and then iPhone storage. And what you're looking for here is more than maybe like three, four gigabytes free on your iPhone. If you're running into like less than a gigabyte free memory on your iPhone, that can also bog down and slow down your iPhone. So if that's the case, you might wanna offload some of these apps, you delete some of the apps, delete photos, videos, all that stuff to make more space. Now, another thing that you can do is to head into background app for refresh. I like to keep this off. Basically, this means if there are any apps that are not on the physical screen itself, that means they can kind of run processes and do things that can slow down everything. So I like to just keep this off. Only apps that are currently open on my screen can refresh their feed or anything like that. So that's a really good one. That background app refresh is to turn that off. Now let's go back out of here and scroll down again. And then we can go into privacy here and location services, we'll tap on that. You wanna make sure that you have location services only toggled on to exactly what you want or need. I would be more conservative here in turning off a lot of these location services because again, in the background on your iPhone, it can be kind of tracking your location and that can be using up a lot of kind of free processing speed and space on your iPhone. So it's good to kind of toggle that off where you can and just have the location services where you really need them. Now, the last thing I'll do is to get out of here and then go into your mail um, option here and then go into accounts and you'll see fetch new data. I have that just turned off. You'll want to probably turn that as off as well. Um, this will, if you have it set for every few minutes, fetching new mail, constantly getting new mail. Again, that's something that works in the background and can kind of slow down your iPhone and make it not run very well. So go through all these steps that should help kind of limit the number of processes that your iPhone has to use at any given point and thus should help speed up your iPhone. Hope this helps. Let us know if you have any questions in the comments below and make sure to subscribe. Thanks.